hi guys welcome back to my channel so um for those of you who were on the live yesterday i love you guys so much the moon and back the reason why i deleted it is because it was sideways and i don't know how to work this function now i have to like prop it up in a vertical sense um when i want to go live so i'm gonna try my best to go live today um later on for the first time again well i say for the first time i have made live videos but not when people were on there like more of like uh, let me go on live on private and then maybe make it public later kind of live but i want to get used to it because i'm trying my best to challenge my social anxiety and for those of you who know exactly what i've been going through lately i'm in the process of healing i'm feeling better now but i'm almost excited i'm like amped up i'm in this energy of like i'm trying to kill the old me okay i'm trying to take down any videos any pictures any any part of me that i just want to kill i want to get rid of i'm getting rid of it okay because this is a new me and i'm not waiting to the first of january to revamp my page to revamp myself to reinvent everything i'm not waiting until new year's okay it's not a new year's resolution it's i i want to do it now because I'm in the mood to do it now. It's like, if I feel the inspiration to do things now, I'm going to do them straight away, okay? Um, so sorry if you guys are seeing some old videos that are disappearing and I'm deleting a bunch of old things. It's because I'm, I'm determined to go through this whole internal and external glow up. So that is where my head is out. And not, not just with like um, aesthetics, but also like in terms of like what I'm saying and how I'm presenting myself and everything. Cause you know, after a breakup, that's what people do. At least that's what I do. Okay. I don't know if it's a Gemini thing or it's just a woman thing, but that's what I do. Okay. Um, but yeah, so we're here to find out what do people want to tell you? Um, I was going to say, what do people want to tell you, but are afraid to, but this is more like, what do people want to tell you? So some people may not even be afraid to tell you these things, but this is just what people want to say. Okay. We have power one, which is partnership. Okay, this is a new deck that I got. What, what is this deck called? It's called the Modern Nirvana Oracle deck. I love it. Okay. Pile two is Know Thyself. Pile three is Perception. Pile four is Kindness. Pile five is Weightlessness. And power six is abundance. Yeah, I'm, I'm revamping a lot of things, guys. Not just on this page, but even with my music, even with everything, okay? Speaking of, I did recently post my music video PTSD. Feel free to check it out because I feel like it won't stay there for very long, if that makes sense. I'm, I'm still on the fence about it. But maybe if you guys like it, you guys comment, you guys made me feel like, oh, you know what? Maybe you don't need to delete it. Maybe I won't, okay? But um, with that being said, I'm going to start. So let's move this here. Okay. Okay, so one, oh, sorry, f three minutes. I was going to say one minute. Three minutes and 10 seconds. You guys chose the partnership. Pile one. What do people want to tell you but can't? You guys chose partnership, okay? You have a lot of people want to collab with you. You have a lot of people want to work with you. You have a lot of people who want to enter relationships with you, but a lot of people want to be in this like close proximity with you, okay? We also have alchemy. May you find your gold. We have the skunk and the magnolia, which is protection. We have the rising sun, symbolizing new beginnings and hope. We have 62, share your gifts. Some of you guys could be 62 or 26. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be. But two is all about partnerships and alignment. And six is all about balance and reciprocity. Add six and two together, you get eight, which is abundance. Okay, share your gifts. We have the High Priestess, which is Pisces, Water Energy. Then we have Air Sign Energy with the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Then we have Unite. Then we have Crown Chakra. Don't know what I'm hearing. I'm on a roll. <laughs> okay. People are afraid to tell you that they want to work with you. I don't know if it's something about your energy that's very intimidating. It makes people really scared. Um, they want to work with you, but they just don't really know how to approach you. I don't know what it is, but for some strange reason... People want to work with you. Why they haven't told you this, I don't know. But people want to work with you. People want to collaborate with you. People want to be in a relationship with you, okay? Uh, people also admire you as a person because we do have alchemy, okay? So this does tell me that people want to commend you, okay? People want to commend you for your ability to turn any situation around and look at things from a different perspective and learn and grow from it, okay? 
I feel like some people, the same people who want to work with you or want to be in a relationship with you, the reason why they may not tell you this is because we have protection here. They may be protecting their heart, okay, or their feelings, their ego. They may feel like you may reject them, so that's why. But they also feel like you do a good job of protecting your peace, and they may feel like they don't want to disturb your peace, okay? We do have symbolizing new hope and beginning, so people really want to tell you that you are their inspiration. You are the reason why they get up. You are the reason why they keep going on with life. I don't know if you guys may post motivational quotes on your feed or your Instagram or your YouTube or if you're a tarot reader or you do motivational talks or whatever it may be you are the reason why people feel like they shouldn't give up okay you are a lot of people's source of muse and love and light okay we do have share your gifts a lot of people want you to tell them um tips on how to achieve a certain thing in their life so maybe you guys may be knowledgeable about a lot of things or even if you're not like people see the way you live your life and they feel like okay well pile one lives their life that way and i ideally want to live my life like that too so i'm gonna have to go to pile one for advice a lot of people want to let you know that they actually value your advice and they would like to seek advice for those of them who haven't asked for your advice because we have to share your gifts okay people really want your help people really want your advice um your assistance because they feel like it's genuine you guys could be the type of people that if you have a lot of things going for you you don't keep it to yourself like you're happy to share your gems people really want to benefit off of um what you have to offer and they appreciate when you do, if you do, okay? Um, especially in connections. I feel like people feel like um, they want you to share your feelings, share what's on your mind. Um, you may come across as someone who's very independent or when you have struggles, you prefer to shoulder them on your own. So the people, if you're in a relationship right now, your partner really wants you to share um, your thoughts, your feelings, be vulnerable with them. Um, about everything because they don't want you to keep it all in okay we do have high priestess so a lot of people are afraid to tell you that they see you as very very secretive but also very intuitive and it makes them uncomfortable there's something about you power one that you just be knowing things okay some of you are my tarot readers and if you are shout out to you guys um some of you know too much but then you don't reveal enough about yourself and people want to let you know that it makes them uncomfortable but at the same time, like, it is what it is. Like, it's not coming from a place of hatred, but they're just like, this makes me very, very freaked and spooked out. If you do do tarot, people want to let you know how the hell do you know these things? Who is giving you this information? Are you stalking them? Like, what, what is going on? Is this some sort of um, psychological um, trick, you know, that you're playing? Like, how the hell do you know about people's lives, okay? People also want to confront you with this nine, uh, sorry, knight of um, swords. You have people who want to confront you about things. And I think it's because um, some people may feel a bit triggered by you. I was talking about this in one of the other piles yesterday when I did it on what do people love about you, which I'm going to redo today as a live. live. Um, but you may trigger a lot of people and people want to confront you. Okay. I feel like power one, you're the type of people that you may accidentally hurt people's feelings whether it's on purpose or whether it's you know like i don't know what it is even if you're not saying anything to people like you sit you seem to really trigger someone or make people upset and they want to feel like they want to confront you about these things but they just may ne never get the courage to so they may just do subliminals or be indirect or talk about you instead of to or towards you okay um but people just want to be in your vicinity because we do have unite so you have people who want to let you know that they want to be around you more Maybe you do a good job at protecting yourself, keeping things to your chest. And people want to let you know that they want to be around you. They want to help you. We also do have crown chakra. So people want to also let you know that they do have dreams about you. You be popping up in a lot of people's dreams, okay? You be on a lot of people's minds rent-free. Um, and people just know like you move in a way where you're very high value, okay? People want to let you know that you're very high value. And to be in your space is a privilege, and they want to be closer towards you, okay, for that reason. People feel like you're destined to go places in life and they want to be around you. Um, I don't know if it's coming off in a way where it's like to benefit off of you. I mean, yeah, like let's let's not play dumb. Like, of course, to benefit off of you as well. But I don't know if that's the only reason. Like some people may just really love your energy. You know, you can, two things can be true at once. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. You are an inspiration to a lot of, a lot of people because I'm hearing you are you are the reason that I'm hanging. Wait, what's it called? Hanging on. Yeah, like there's something about you that is like you get people um you give people motivation to move forward in life, okay? 
um, you are an alchemist. And I did write a song called Al The Alchemist, so feel free to check that one out. I feel like the songs I'm low-key making could be used as affirmations, subliminals to transform your life because, baby, what's getting me through life is literally my, my playlist, okay? Um, and I've been listening to a lot of them, okay? Not just my own music, but also subliminals. I listen a lot um, and it's really helpful, okay? Um, but yeah, you have people wanting to confront you about things, okay? Again, I don't know if it's like intentional or... Can you clarify this Knight of Swords? Yeah, some people feel some type of way, okay? We, we have this seven of, of um, ones. People want to confront you about a lot of things, okay? Um, but they may not have the courage to say it to your face, okay? But that's what I'm getting. I'm going to move on to pile what is this upside down yeah i'm gonna move on to pile number two thank you guys so much for watching take care don't forget to like share comment and subscribe turn your post notifications on if you want to join my membership feel free to join um the link is in the description if you want a personal reading just email me and if you guys are part of my membership let me know what you want to see because i'm not a mind reader okay let me know let me know okay i'm gonna move on to the next pile so pile two. Ooh, 1122 okay you guys chose know thyself i love this deck this is gonna be my favorite deck okay know thyself oh my god there's paint on my knuckle <laughs> okay know thyself we have embrace may you accept what comes we have the Vulture and the Asphodel, which is upheaval. We have the Eclipse, creativity, writing, expression. We have 12, change the scenery, okay? One is a number of new portals, new beginnings, and two is a number of alignment partnerships. Add one and two together, you get three, which is foundations, okay? Support. We have the Moon card, which is Cancer, Pisces energy, water energy. Then we have Pisces energy, again, with the Hanged Man, water energy. We have Karmic. And we have jealousy. Ooh. Mm. I'm hearing, mama, 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 I just shot a man down. Yeah, I don't know why I heard that. That's by Rihanna, man down. Ooh. I feel like some people are afraid to tell you that you're really harsh with your words. Okay, whether it's to them or whether it's to someone else. Like, yeah. Yeah, either you're you're harsh with your words or you're blunt with your words or um, people felt like they were harsh with you and they feel bad about it. But let's see, okay? We do have know thyself. So people want to tell you that they really love your authenticity, okay? They love the fact that you are unapologetically yourself, okay? And this somehow can trigger them to feel jealous because we do have jealousy, okay? We have karmic. You make people reflect on themselves because you are not afraid to be yourself, honey. You know yourself. And knowing yourself and being authentic doesn't mean that um, you, you're a very nice person, you're high vibration, or you're this and that. You, it just means you accept yourself as you are, the good, the bad, the ugly. You're, you're not trying to change yourself for anyone else. You're just trying to be your authentic self. And anyone who's not okay with that, you don't care. You still sleep really beautifully well at night, okay? So with the know yourself, yeah, people want to let you know that they really admire your ability to be authentic. You are real. You are raw, okay? I remember watching clips about Cardi B and how people don't like Cardi B. And there's things that Cardi B does that I don't agree with and I don't really F with. But one thing I do like about Cardi B, which I highly respect, is she's real. So even if she's, show even if she's showing her bad side or whatever, she does not care. She is real to the bone. Like, she would rather let you see her in her authentic self, whether it's good or bad, she doesn't care. At least that's her being real, her, be her being sincere. She's not being fake. She's not having to, to, you know, to put on a persona. She's like, this is who I am, okay? Take it or leave it, but this is who I am. And that's not to say that, you know, I agree with Cardi when it comes to certain things, because I really don't. But I admire people who can be themselves. Because at least if someone shows you who they are, you know how to move accordingly, you know? If someone pretends to be something they're not, then it's a little bit scary, okay? 
regardless, people want to let you know that they love your authenticity. There is a no, there's not another one of you, pal, too. And people like that, but it also triggers them. Because we have jealousy and karma. It makes people reflect on the fact that they're wearing masks. They're trying to be something they're not. For some of you, you may have no problems being vulnerable with people and telling people it is what it is, how you're feeling. You're very expressive. Um, you're very creative. You're, you don't care if you stand out or you stick out like a sore thumb. You're just being you and embracing who you are, okay? And it makes people who want to fit into society and want to blend in and have an acceptance of other people, it makes them feel insecure. It makes them feel like they're not doing enough. So they may be triggered by you, but they're self-aware that they're triggered by you, okay? We do have embrace. So we have me accept what comes. Yeah, people really want to tell you that they like the fact that you embrace life through the good, through the bad, through the ugly. Even if it's difficult, even if it's painful, even if it's ups and downs, you embrace it as it is and you embrace yourself. And people have also feel like they embrace you and you embrace them and they really do appreciate that. Yeah, with the upheaval, people want to tell you that through thick and thin, you're always like, they admire your strength. They admire the fact that you just kind of make piece of the situation okay we do have the eclipse and creativity and expression this is all about being vulnerable and saying what you want to say you guys never really back down from what you want to say what's on your mind okay people really like the fact that you are expressive the eclipse makes me think of the dark and the light so people are like the fact that you have a light side and people close to you get to experience this love this care this nurturance the good you but then you're also not afraid to show your dark traits your shadow side where you're like well this is who i am i, I may need to work on this but it's, it's not going to change the fact that this is who I am right now, you know, and you're not afraid to bounce back. And I'm, I'm getting an energy of someone who um, when people wrong you, you don't just sit down and be like, oh, I'll pray for them. Like, you know, when celebrities, yeah, not all celebrities, but some celebrities like, you know, when they they they're like, oh, this is what happened about my situation. But don't send hate to them or like, I still love them. I'm still praying for them. You guys are not that type of person. You're like, listen, I said what I said. And that's it. Like, if anyone wants to say any, if you if you want to bash the person, bash them. I don't give a shit. I said what I wanted to say. You know, like you guys are real AF. Okay, we do have changed the scenery. So people really like the fact that you're always changing things up. Um, they want to tell you that um, they admire the strength. But I want to clarify it even further. People like the fact that whoop, people like the fact that because uh, I'm hearing that song. Because even if I leave along, I'm good. Because even if you come along, I'm good. Like, you, you don't really need people. And this may trigger people, but they also love it. I feel like with a lot of people, um, they have a love-hate relationship with you, pile two. People either really love you or really hate you. There's no in-between, okay? Or, they, or maybe this is within themselves. Like, they love you and hate you at the same time with this eclipse, okay? Can you clarify the change of scenery? We have the king of pentacles, okay? People like the fact that you're solid through ups and downs, through changes or changing the scenery, whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship, whether things are going great, whether they're not, whether you're friends, whether you're not, whatever, whether you lose a job, whether you gain a job, whether you gain weight, whether you lose weight, whatever it may be, things are always changing and evolving with you, but you remain solid and your money stay looking stable, okay? Um, and people really like that. Okay. they want to tell you like what's your secret like how do you stay so grounded like not many people are like that can we clarify the moon card we have the two of swords this is more like for people who don't know you some people want to tell you that they don't know how to feel about you they don't know if they're enchanted by you or they're scared of you they don't know if they like you or they hate you um people may have mixed opinions about you and they struggle to make one definitive opinion about you because you may be very very different okay we clarify the moon card you have people feeling like they don't know if who you are is an illusion because you could have many sides to you yeah the tower card i feel like people make assumptions about you but sometimes their assumptions blow up in their face with the tower card there, there could be sudden changes and realizations that people have about you i feel like people judged you people really judged you at some point and then you show a different side to you it makes them wonder like wait now my perspective has changed about this person i don't know how to feel about this person okay um, I feel like people who chat shit about you um, always get exposed and it makes people realize, I can't believe I misjudged pile two. I should have got the time to take pile two. And, and they want to let you know that they're sorry for prejudging you, okay? We clarified the hanged man. Ooh. Okay, we do have the two of ones. So this is clarifying the hanged man. People want to let you know that you changed their perspectives on life. 
they may go into things with one way, seeing you in one way, and then you make them change their perspective, even judgmental people. For some of you, you could be the type of people where you are an ally, you don't judge the LGBT community, or you could be someone who you're not so religious and you don't judge people who are religious. And people say like, oh, how could you be okay with this? Or how could you be okay with that? Or how could, you know? But there's something about you, the way you live your life is so authentic that you have people changing their perspective on things and people and situations, okay? Can we clarify jealousy and karmic? A lot of people are jealous of this trait that you have. Yeah, okay. I feel like while pe you, people who've done you dirty, while they're suffering, some of them could be homeless, okay? Some of them could be broke. Some of them could be not looking good. But while people are suffering, when, they're, when um, they've either done you dirty or, or people who you've just left behind, even if they didn't do you dirty, you're elevating with the six of swords. So they're jealous of the fact that you're in a better position in life and, they, and they've been left behind, okay? And people want to let you know that they feel some type of way about this, but they're not going to let you know this because that would, to them, that would be admitting defeat, okay? Um, I'm hearing, dust yourself off and try again. Isn't that Aaliyah? And at first you don't succeed. Yeah. Dust yourself off and try again. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you're, people see you as someone who, like, you bounce back, okay? Um, but people admire that. And you also have people who are jealous of that. But they would never admit that. I feel like some people may disguise their jealousy as intimidation. Like, they may be like, I'm just intimidated by you. But really, it's jealousy, okay? People just love the fact that you were just raw and authentic. If you have a talent, you're also very creative. And people are jealous of the fact that you're very skilled, okay? But that's what I'm getting. Let me know how you feel about that. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you're not a part of my members, feel free to join. The link is in the description. And if you want a personal reading, just email me. I don't bite. And yeah, take care. So, pile three, 21 minutes and 43 seconds. You guys chose perception. Okay, what do people want to tell you? Okay, we have together. May you be connected. We have the screw on the chestnut, which is preparation. We have the thunderbolt, the sudden change, power, energy. We have... 15, open up your heart. We have the devil card, which is Capricorn energy. The open your heart is 15. So one is all about new portals, new beginnings, independence. And five is all about change. Add them together as six, which is balance and reciprocity, even harmony, okay? We have the seven of pentacles, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, earth sign energy. And then we have fear and we have guilty. Ooh, child. Ooh, child. Okay. <laughs> sorry guys i'm really amped up um <laughs> let me not speak too soon um people are afraid to tell you that they're scared of you we have fear people can see you as a risk for people who haven't dealt with you they feel like you are a risk you could break their hearts people feel like you have the capacity i don't know if it's your strength your powerful aura but people feel like you could break their heart. People are scared of you. And people who have been in your life, who have done you dirty, they are very fearful. They may not pretend, they may not like act like they're fearful, but they may pretend to be like, I'm strong, I can, they're scared of you. Why are they scared of my power threes? What are you guys, working for the mafia? Why are they scared of power three? Can you clarify fear? Ooh, people fear you breaking their heart and these people could be struggling. They feel like you could really hurt them. Whether it's the people who haven't dealt with you, they feel like you could break their heart. They have a fear of you breaking their heart. For those of you who have dealt with people and these people are afraid of you, people are scared of you hurting them, like harming them in the worst way. So you may have dealt with people who didn't really invest in much in you and you could have been in one-sided situations and it wasn't because they didn't see your worth, it's because they were scared that you would hurt them. Now, if you are emotionally invested into someone and you give your heart to them and then they hurt you, that's gonna stink. But if you don't put any investment into someone, it's not gonna hurt you that much, you know, because you were not invested, right? So people are scared to invest in you because they feel like you will break their heart. For others of you, for people who have had you and they've hurt you, like they're scared of you. They're scared that you'll seek revenge. Can we clarify this fear? Yeah, people are, yeah, people are so afraid that you'll confront them. People, I don't know if it's like something you'll do to them or if it's your words, because some of you hold really powerful tongue. Your ancestors have got your back. You, you hold a powerful tongue and people are so afraid of you ripping them a whole a-hole with, with, your, with, with your words alone, okay? Yeah. People want to invest in you, but they're also afraid to invest in you. 
That's what they want to let you know. People are also waiting for you. For those of you who you cut people out, people are always waiting for you to come back, hoping that you will come back. And maybe you just don't. Okay? We do have the devil card, but underneath we do have jeal no jealousy. We have um, guilty. Oh, maybe I accidentally said jealousy because maybe these people are afraid to tell you that they were jealous of you. And they may have sabotaged you and messed you up due to their jealousy. But you also have guilty. You make people reflect on their bad behavior. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But people feel guilty. They want to let you know if anyone who's done you, they feel very bad. They feel really like this is not even guilt. This is like the kind of guilt where you don't like, oh, I feel bad. And then you move on with your life. This is the kind of guilt where you, you are heavy on people's minds. Can you clarify the devil? Can you clarify the devil? Oh, someone's heavily obsessed with you. Okay, people want to let you know that they are obsessed with you. They, you, oh my God, power three. You live in someone's mind or a lot of people's minds rent free. Okay? Someone can't get you off of their mind. It's someone you have a connection with. And I'm not getting friendship. I'm getting love, okay? Someone really wants, I feel like people are tell, afraid to tell you that they really want something with you, but we have guilty. So this could also be, my battery's running low. This could also be someone who's messed you up and they are feeling guilty because they can't get you out of their thoughts. Um, they can't get you out of their mind. But people who have never been with you want to be with you. But, you know, they're obsessed with you, okay? We have open your heart, okay? So I feel like people want to tell you, like, if you've been hurt and people are aware of it, people want to let you know, like, they don't want you to move in a way where you're he like, unhealed. They want to fix you. They want to amend your heart, okay? People want you to be more open with them. You guys could be a bit more closed off to people due to what you've gone through, but people want you to open up your heart to them because we do have five, which is a change, and one, which is independence. So you, I feel like if you're single, people want to change that because one plus five is six, which is harmony, balance, reciprocity. People want a relationship with you, part three. And if you're newly single, as am I, people want to be with you, okay? People want you to change your perspective and not allow the past to get you down. People want to mend your heart, but they're also fearful, okay? They're also fearful that you'll break their heart, okay? Yeah, sudden change, power energy. I feel like when you leave people's life, path three, people want to tell you that they suddenly have the urge to want to make things work with you. When you've detached yourself and you no longer care, people always want to have the sudden urge to fix things. But this could also just be your energy, whereby you get a lot of energy to, to power through your life and people want to let you know that they find that admirable. Okay, we do have preparation. Oh, you've got people who want to plan to come towards you. Can you clarify preparation? Maybe people like the fact that you, um, you're very organized. Can you clarify preparation though? Some people are weighing up the options if they should come back to you or they should come towards you. You have people in their fields reflecting on you. Oh, preparation. This seems very specific, this message. Can we clarify judgment? Because this could be for new or old, but judgment I usually associate with the second chance, a revival. Yeah, you have people who want to come in. We have cancer energy with a chariot. We do have the um, three of pentacles. You have people um, contemplate whether they want to collaborate with you or not whether they want to work with you or not, whether they want to get back together with you or not. And, and it's like people want to, I feel like people, when they approach you, they come in so quick and then they get scared. They get scared that they're not enough. Can we clarify preparation? Yeah, to heal the situation. Ooh, child, queen of cups. Okay, people want to prepare to let you know how they feel about you. It's very heartfelt. It's giving, I want this, I want you energy. And we have together. Power three. You just got it like that. Okay? You, people want to let you know that they want to be with you. They want to be... Even if it's friendship, people want to be around you. I'm hearing, I'm a material girl. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Maybe you guys are straight up hustlers. And maybe you have high standards. And people are afraid for that reason that like you're going to hurt them. We can clarify perception. I feel like people's perception of you changes. They may perceive you in one way and then they realize you're not that one way. Kind of similar to um, pile two. We do have the Knight of Cups clarifying perception. People realize that they may have idolized you or may have assumed you to be one way. Very innocent, very loving, very caring, very sweet. And then they realize over time that you have a dark side and, you know, you're not afraid to put people in their place when you need to, okay? Yeah, people find you really attractive, Power three. 
people actually um yeah, oh the higher thing people want a relationship with you people want to uh, like either apologize i wasn't even trying to say apologize i was trying to say ask you out but this could also be apologies okay um people find you attractive pal three uh but scary okay siren energy uh, people really want to marry you, have your kids, be with you. Their perception on you always changes. They may assume you to be one way. Like you may come across as very loving and very sweet. Um, but then when you're crossed, it's like you're not afraid to cut people off or rip them a new a-hole. And it makes people realize that you command a lot of respect and, and you deserve that respect. Like you're not just a walkover. Uh, but your perspective, people's perspectives on you changes a lot after a long time of um, reflection. And it's a good perception I'm getting. Can we clarify? Yeah. People realize that you are a magician, a master. Um, did I say that in an American way? Master. Master um, manifester. You're good at many traits. You're good at alchemy. You're good at picking yourself back up. You're good at just... You're very unpredictable energy. This is Gemini energy. Okay? Very unpredictable energy. Okay? You're good at multitasking, doing too many different things. And people find that a really exquisite... Like, you, Pile three, you're just overqualified. And people want to tell you that, okay? But you do motivate people to want to try and step up and be that. But whether people have it in them or not is another thing, okay? But that's what I'm getting for pile number three. That was juicy. I'm not going to lie. I feel like I can resonate with that. I feel like I can resonate with pile one and three, okay? But I do watch my videos back, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to join my membership... Um, the link is in the description. If you want to uh, have a personal reading, just email me. I don't buy it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and turn post notifications on, okay? Pile four, 31, 32, you guys chose kindness, okay? What do people want to tell you? Heartfelt, may your heart guide you. We have the raccoon and the sycamore, which is curiosity. We have the feather, lightness, messages, spiritual connection. We have 53, take no offense. Some of you guys could be 53 or 35. You don't have to be. Could be even between those ages. But five is all about change. And three is all about foundations, support. Five plus three together is eight, which is all about abundance, okay? Take no offense. Ooh, okay. Some of you guys could be focused on your career, okay? We have the Knight of Wands, which is fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then we have the Ten of Cups, which is Water Sign Energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. We have Abundance. Oh, okay, that does make sense. That does make sense. We have Marriage. Ooh, okay. Power Four. People want to tell you that they want to wife you or husband you down, but you seem too distracted to focus on your career. Ooh. People, okay, people want to tell you that they're very curious about your life. You may not share things. You may be very um, secretive. You may not disclose things about your life. You may keep things under wraps. And it piques people's interest. I feel like a lot of people want to tell you that they are romantically interested in you, Pal 4. You may not feel so. And I hate when you guys say that. Like Some people are like, I don't think anyone likes me. People do, okay? You'd be surprised. And the reason why I know this is because I'm guilty. And I'll put my hand up when I say this. I'm very guilty, Pal 4 of liking people and not telling them. I, I have a I have bad habit of obsessing over someone, really, really having a crush. Like when I want a crush on someone. I'm already planning my wedding. Okay, it's, it's, a bad, it's a bad habit, but I'm obsessed. But they will never know. To them, they'll think, Gemini Empress doesn't care about me. Gemini Empress doesn't even notice me. Gemini Empress doesn't even acknowledge my existence. And why I'm like that, I don't know. I don't know. It's something I'm trying to figure out myself. But I'd be liking people and they just won't even know it. Um, this even comes from when I find people really attractive, like, especially when I find really attractive women, I'm like, oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. But it's like, instead of telling her that, I will just be like, you know, because it's just like, ah, I will fangirl over you, you know? Um, and I'll try and do it in subtle ways. I'd be like, oh, you know, that picture of you looks really, really gorgeous. Like, you just know what I'm saying? Like online, I will comment it, but in real life, I'll probably be like hypnotized by the beauty. Do you see what I'm saying? So um, people can like you and you won't even know a powerful, but I digress, okay? People, you've piqued a lot of people's interests um, romantically, but I'm also getting, people are very nosy about your life. This could even be colleagues, uh, workers, friends, family. People are very nosy and they want to let you know, they want to know what's going on in your life because you're very secretive, okay? 
Um, you do have a lot of people who feel a connection to you, okay? You guys could identify with being an empath and not in a narcissistic way, but actually like being an empath, like you understand people. Some of you guys could have a background in psychology or just knowing people, knack for understanding people. We do have the lightness, messages, spiritual connection, the feather. People feel very spiritual connection connected to you. So people may have a crush on you, pal, for, and it's because of the way you showed them kindness. People really want to let you know that they are grateful for your kindness. You showed people kindness when they were never shown it before, okay? Um, there's something really sweet about you both. Um, why does it say you both? That's so weird. Anyways, there's something about you, pal, for. Maybe there are two people that feel that way. I don't know. There's something about you, Power 4, that people really respect because you showed them kindness when no one else showed them kindness and love and respect. You, you guys could heal people unintentionally. I would not be surprised if you attract a lot of broken people. I am so sorry. It is not your job to fix everyone, okay? But um, the love and care and healing energy you carry... Um, people will never forget that. And they find that hard to find, okay? People want to let you know that they were grateful for the kindness you've shown them in times where no one else showed them that, okay? We do have take no offense. Um, I feel like people feel like they, they try their best to not take it to offense, but you guys may be the type that you put your career first, okay? I have my mind on my money and my money on my mind. Like, you guys may focus on your abundance, but it really hurts and triggers people that you don't give them the time of day all the time. And it's not, and I know like it's because you're busy, but people know that it's because you're busy. So they try not to take offense by it, but it still hurts, you know? For some of you, it's the opposite where people want to tell you that you need to stop being clingy towards them and taking it personally when. You know, they may feel like you're sensitive and you take things to offense. When people are busy, you may take it to offense when people ignore you, okay? But they're not ignoring you because of you. They are just busy chasing the bag, okay? Some people are tired. Even when they're out from work, even when they've got off from work and they have all the time in the world to conversate with you, they have their energy needs to be um, recharged. Some people just need to recharge their energy, boo. And you may be taken it the personal way. Like say, for example, if, this is a, if you're in a relationship or if you're in a talking stage, you may get offended when people don't text you very quickly, okay? But they want to let you know it's not personal. They're just busy and they're drained. Even if they'll be sharing things on social media, they're like, okay, that doesn't require much energy. It just re requires sharing, clicking one button and that's it. But talking, it requires back and forth. Thinking about what you need to say in response. Actually being present in the moment interpreting all of that information of what you're saying that's too much energy for some people after work so people want to let you know stop taking it personal but if you know this is not your energy then flip it people are trying their best to not take it personally but they get offended when you don't get back to them okay but it could be because you're busy we do have heartfelt so people want to let you know that you lead so much with your heart that it can lead to your detriment at times okay People feel like it's good and they admire it. They wish they had it in them, but they want to let you know to be cautious because not everybody has your heart and people know that you have such a great heart. So just guard it. And that's what people want to let you know that don't allow anyone just to be in your circle because you are highly sought after, powerful, whether you like it or not, or whether you believe it or not. Okay. We do have the, the night of wands energy. So yeah, I feel like people want to let you know that they find your busyness offensive. So this goes into taking no offense. Um, for some of you, you could be extroverted as well. And I'm getting another message for the extroverted people that people want to let you know that they can't keep up with your energy. It's too much. They feel drained. Especially if you're always going out, you always wanted to talk, you always wanted to call. People cannot keep up with you. And it's a lot. Or if you're that person that always has something different going on in your life and you share it, people feel like they can't keep up with your life sometimes. And they want to let you know that there's always something new happening for you. Okay. We also have the Ten of Cups. So people want to let you know that you they feel like you could bring the fulfillment. We do have abundance and marriage. So people feel like they would like to marry you. They would like to see a future with you. Because they know every day is going to be bliss. There's something about you that just screams stable. Even if you're very busy. It's like your money is stable. Your mind is stable. Your love is consistent. So people feel like they can really like have a life that they've really wanted with you but they may not tell you this because you may feel like mm, my standards are high like i don't want that with you and people may feel like you may not want that with them and they they're making peace with that but they want to tell you that okay yeah 
Yeah, some people may not like your busy energy, but, but it is what it is, okay? But that's what I'm getting for pound number four. I'm going to move on to pound number five. Let me know how you feel about that. Don't forget to drop a comment, like, favorite, subscribe. Um, if you want to join my membership, link is in the description down below. If you want a personal reading, just email me. I promise you I don't bite. Um, and yeah, don't forget to turn your post notifications on. Bye. Okay, 39.51, power five, you guys chose weightlessness. Okay, we have dream. May your imagination run free. We have the rooster and the sunflower communication. We have the enchanted forest, magic, mystery, unexpected encounters. We have 25, feel the well. Some of you guys could be 25 or 52. It doesn't matter, but even between those ages, but five is all about change. And two is all about partnership and alignment. Add five and two together is seven, which is all about learning. Okay, feel the well. Okay, we have the sun card, which is Leo. We have air sign energy, which is eight of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then we have soulmate. And then we have hiding. Ooh. Someone may want to tell you that they have secret feelings for you. Um, can we clarify fill the well? If you're in a relationship. Ooh. Ooh, fill the well. Okay, the ten of swords. If you're in a relationship. Well, card. If you're in a relationship, someone wants to let you know that it's it's getting hard to be consistent. Like, it's getting hard to keep up with you. I don't know what this is about. Can you kind of feel the well? Okay, uh, we have the six of pentacles. Someone wants to let you know you deserve better. Okay, consistency. We do have the, the queen of cups. Someone wants to let you know that they, they love you. And they're learning about you. They're learning how to love you. They're learning how to take care of you. But it can be very hard sometimes. Okay, we do have the three of pentacles with the chariot. So people want to let you know that they want to be consistent with you. They want to put consistent effort in you, but it can be hard. Okay, could you clarify this ten of swords? Someone may feel like it's very challenging and they feel like, should I give it up or should I not? Yeah, people feel like it's such a challenge. They want to win at all costs though. They want to win at all costs, but they may feel disappointed in themselves because they may feel like they don't have what it takes. Someone may feel like they, they can't match you financially. People want to let you know that. They feel intimidated by the fact that you earn more than them or you have money and they feel like they can't keep up. You could be in a connection with someone who they feel like they can't keep up to impress you, okay? They may feel like you deserve better deep down, but they may feel like they don't know how to say that because it almost sounds like, oh my God, like they're admitting to their inadequacy. But they don't, they intend to work on it though. They don't intend to end it. Like they intend to work on it and build themselves up, but it's very challenging, Okay. Uh, we do have the sun card. Someone wants to let you know that you make them really happy. Okay, people want to let you know that they, that you make them very, very happy. Your energy is vibrant. Okay, but I want to clarify what this um, Eight of Swords is. What's this Eight of Swords referring to? Okay, someone feels left out in the cold. Someone feels really, like, anxious. Yeah, someone's trying their best to move forward in their life, but they may want to reconcile with you. Someone wants to unite with you with this Three of Cups, but someone's feeling very anxious about it. Okay. Can we clarify hiding? Okay. Burdens, okay. Can you clarify this ten of so I mean ten of um wands? People hide a lot from you, but I want to know what that is. Okay, magician. Ooh. Can we clarify magician. Some people want to tell you that they're hiding something from you. It could be to do with manipulation. Can we clarify magician? Yeah, the okay, people are keeping secrets, okay? We have the king of cups. Can we clarify the moon card? People want to tell you that they keep a lot of secrets. Oh, secret feelings. Either either these are secret feelings or someone's hiding a relationship from you, okay? Can we clarify this two of cups? Oh, okay. Someone could be hiding the fact that they either have feelings for you, but they're in a relationship, so they can't act on it, or you're, you're with someone. Okay, not to make anyone paranoid, okay? Please don't take this if you feel like, if you don't get that same inkling. Someone's hiding a relationship from you. They're manipulating you and keeping secrets. And it's it's making them feel really burdened. And some people want to talk to you. Okay, I feel like people are hiding something that they want to make right. Ooh. Someone wants to communicate with you. They could be in a relationship, but they want to communicate with you. They're hiding that. 
Someone wants to let you know that you are their soulmate, but um, they can't be with you right now. They, someone wants to also let you know that you're too good for them. I think a lot of people see you as too good for them. Can you clarify this hiding even further, please? Someone's really anxious. Yeah, someone's hiding the fact that they feel left out in the cold. They miss you. Can you clarify hiding? Yeah, you on people's mind heavily. Okay, people, people are hiding a connection that they have towards you. Can you clarify soulmate? I feel like people feel like they want to let you know that you are their soulmate. You are their soulmate. And you make people want to step up and, and be that person for you. Ooh. Power... <laughs> power five with this magic mystery unexpected encounters people want to let you know that ever since you've been in their life or you've left their life they're experiencing magical changes in their life as in like not magical as in mythical when harry potter kind of magical but magical in a way where like unexplainable events are happening to them and they don't know why whether it's you being in their life maybe they're experiencing an upgrade in their life or if you've left people's life they're experiencing like blockages Someone wants to make love with you as well. I heard that, baby, all through the night, I'll make love to you like you want me to. I feel like, weird. People are hiding secret feelings for you. This is a plethora of too many messages. My brain hurts, okay? People can't explain the fact that unexplainable events, and when I say unexplainable, it's like logic, it surpasses logic and science for certain events happening in people's lives, whether it's good or bad. And they attribute it to you. People also want to let you know that they learn a lot from you. Good or bad. Yeah. People want to let you know that they feel very unfulfilled in their life. And, and your absence highlights that. Can we clarify the four of cups? Yeah. People want to communicate with you. I feel like people go through a lot of challenges in regards to you. Okay communication okay so people want to communicate to you people want to talk to you more you may be on the defensive um energy right now but or you make it hard for people to want to communicate towards you but people want to communicate we do have dreams so people want to tell you that you could be in their dreams can we clarify dream or being with you would be a dream because we do have soulmate and son so people do see you as a soulmate or a dream partner but this is also giving literal dreams people want to let you know that you be on their dreams can we clarify the dream yeah, I feel like, okay, so this could be like people see you as a dream, someone who they would ideally like to be with and ask out, but people also feel like you could be in their dreams, going to confide the dream. Oh, you got people feeling some type of way with this five of swords. This is like winning at all costs, but it could also be like defeating, okay? Can you confide five of swords? It's like people want to win you over. Yeah, I feel like, okay, someone could be thinking about you heavily and you're getting into their dreams. Someone could want to win something in regards to you. We have weightlessness. So people want to let you know. For some of you, you're really petite, okay? Or you're losing weight rapidly. And people want to let you know that they're a bit concerned with that, okay? Some people like it, so they want to know, like, what's, what's, what's the regimen? You know, let me know. Uh, but weightlessness could also be about dropping them. So people feel like ever since you drop them, they feel like, they feel the absence. We've got to find weightlessness. Yeah, with this eight of pentacles, this is like putting effort into something. Some, your close loved ones want to let you know, you don't need to carry the burden. You need to start overworking yourself. Let things be. Don't, don't carry the burden. Don't carry the burden. Yeah, temperance, relax. Your close loved ones want to let you know, pour back into yourself. You don't need to carry the whole world on your shoulders, Okay. I heard Susie. I don't know why I heard Susie. Glamour. Mic check, one, two, one, two. I don't know why I'm hearing those things. Um, people may feel like you're destined for a life of abundance with the glamour. Um, but I don't know why I heard Susie. But that's what I'm getting, guys. Let me know how that resonates. If you want a personal reading, just email me. If you want to join my membership, just join. The link is in the description down below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, Okay. Gonna move on to the last pile. So 49, uh, 11. Okay, you guys chose abundance. Okay. We have kindred. May you enjoy heartfelt connections. We have the deer and the oat, which is healing. 
We have the weasel and the pine, which is introspection. We have the falcon's flight, perspective, freedom, aspirations. And then we have 29, I'm sorry. Okay, you guys can be 29, you don't have to be. But two is all about alignment, partnerships. Nine is all about endings. So for this part, you could have had an ending. Is this my pal? Okay, two plus nine is 11, which is a master number, which is all about manifestation. But it runs back to two, which is partnership and alignment. We do have the Hermit, which is Virgo energy, Earth energy. And we have the Emperor, which is Fire sign energy, um, Aries energy. And then we have, okay, we have Truth. And we have Pride. Oh, my pride, my ego, my needs and your selfish ways. Cause a good, strong woman like me to walk out your life. Ooh, power six. Someone who has hurt you, whether it's a lover or, or an ex-lover or a friend, a co-worker, an ex-boss I'm getting for some of you. Because we do have the empress, <laughs> empress, the emperor here. Someone was prideful and they want to apologize to you because we do have to say I'm sorry. Um, this is something that's come to an end with the nine. But someone's trying to manifest it back. Okay, someone realizes they were wrong and someone wants to apologize to you. And that's what someone wants to tell you. People want to tell you that you're right because we do have truth. People want to tell you the truth. And you may have told people about themselves and they may have slighted you because they were prideful and they didn't want to accept accountability or they don't want to acknowledge that they're wrong. For some of you, it could be a past teacher, like a scholar ooh, um, or a worker, manager for some of you. I heard the interior design. I don't know why I'm hearing that. I heard Krausky. Very random. Someone could let you know that you are right and they want to tell you the truth. They want to tell you the entire truth. But they also want to let you know that you spoke the truth, but they were too prideful to handle it because we do have pride. Okay, they let their pride get in the way with the, with the emperor. Someone is very dominant here and they felt like, okay, I feel undermined by the fact that you're being honest with me. Or I feel undermined the fact that you have a different perspective. I'm getting with your workers. I'm not going to lie, pal six. You guys are really skilled at what you do for work. Um... Your co-workers may not like it, the fact that you are more skilled in them. So if you guys have dealt with critical people, critical friends, co-workers, maybe even relationships, they were projecting their own inadequacies onto you. So you may have felt like you're not good at something, but really you're amazing at it and they see your potential to go further, but they may have made you feel like you're not. We do have perspective, freedom, aspirations. So people want to let you know that you change their perspective. Whether this is a past person, whether it's seeing you in a different line, they realize your perspective, they see things from your point of view, or this is more like in general, like in the workplace, people, they feel like you have a good perspective on life. And maybe in the moment, they are too prideful to see what, where you're coming from. But then when they reflect, they realize your perspective is actually spot on, it's very intelligent, it's very wise, it's giving experienced, okay? And they've had a change in perspective. I feel like you change people's perspectives. But they never will admit that because of their pride. Even this I'm sorry card, this person may never apologize because of their pride, okay? We do have introspection, yeah? You have people in their thoughts, like analyzing things, rethinking things, reevaluating things. And you, and you make them realize that you're right. And maybe their pride wouldn't allow them to admit that. Yeah, we have healing. People want to let you know that they're healing from losing you. Or that your energy alone is very healing. Let me clarify this. We can clarify healing. Yeah, ooh, Ace of Cups. I feel like people want to let you know that if you've gone through a breakup, like they see you in this healing energy with this Ace of Cups and this Nine of Pentacles, like you're picking yourself back up and you're doing good. And people want to acknowledge that and, and be happy for you. But this is also coming from a place of people feel like you carry a lot of healing energy and it makes them feel stabilized. It makes them feel well built up and they appreciate this. But do you have kindred? May you enjoy heartfelt connections. People feel like you deserve the best love. There could be a lover that wants this kindred connection with you and they realize that what they had with you was very solid. But I'm also getting people feel like you deserve the best in love, especially if you've been single for a long time. Or if you're in a partnership right now, people feel like your, your partner should be grateful to have you because you deserve all the love in the world. Can we clarify kindred? Can we clarify kindred? Yeah, I feel like someone wants to come towards you. Okay, people feel like it's not over. I'm hearing it's not over. Yeah. 
people want to write the scales between you. Someone feels lost without you with this five of pentacles. People want to write the scales of, of justice with you, with the moon card. They're feeling guided, intuitively guided towards you because they feel a connection towards you. But this could also be new people wanting to come towards you. You can have abundance. You may have abundant energy. People really want to let you know that they're really impressed by your abundance. Like you, you may not be the type of person that shows off about it, but people know you're abundant. Even your energy alone is abundant. Can you clarify abundance? Yeah. People feel like you, you manifest money out of the blue. Like you're always looking well. You're always doing something. You're a very abundant person. Oh, but someone feels heartbroken by it. People feel like when you take your absence away, this could have been a relationship. You guys could have a really great house. Um... But people feel like when you take your energy away, the abundance goes out of their life as well. Because I'm getting the tower card, like the change. Then we have the six of pentacles. You get what you give, okay? Your your energy is abundance, okay? You move through life not worried about um, about being broke because you know you, you'll never be broke. I mean, you can call me many things, but you can't call me broke, okay? Um, yeah. Can you clarify emperor? Yeah, I feel like you have someone stressed. Someone wants to let you know that you stress them out. They're thinking about you excessively. But they're too prideful to admit that. Okay. Who is this emperor? I feel like this could be a job. This could be a relation. This could be anyone. Yeah, it's a lot of people. A lot of people be feeling that way. We have the two of pentacles. Someone's contemplate whether they should reach out and make things right because they want this ten of cups of you. Ooh, ciao. They may message you out of the blue, okay? But that's what I'm getting. Let me know if that resonates. Take care, guys. Bye.